Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Mama's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views, as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views, but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, I am doing my best to upload about four reactions. This is my third one, um, and I hope I'm pronouncing uh, her, um, her name right, is Kiano. I, I, I really hope I'm saying that right. She is representing Norway in the Eurovision Song Contest. And as you know that I have done a number of reactions for the Eurovision Song Contest. I'm still waiting from um, the UK. There's got a, there's about, say, seven. It's, it's whittled down to seven artists, amazing artists. So I'm looking forward to when it comes to the final. Um, but that's going to be my uh, next reaction. Kiano with um, Monument. Um, I don't know what to expect, but because of the Eurovision Song Contest, I, I, I'm expecting lovely, lovely vocals and to be involved uh, and for my body to have an emotional connection with this particular artist. And I hope that I will do. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, please go over to my homepage, work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top. There are amazing artists with low subscribers and low views mixed up with artists with high subscribers and high views. Now, what I would like you to do is do a comparison. And once you do a comparison, you're going to come to the realisation that these amazing artists with low subscribers and low views are equally as good as any top um, list artists out there. They really and truly are. If you are an artist or know an artist, then please go over to my community page, leave your links there, and I will check it out. I promise you. If you want to follow me on any other social media platform, then go over to my About page. There's a number of links there. Just click on it, and it'll take you straight over to any one of those social media platforms. As you know, I would love you to follow me on Instagram, Uncle Momo Music Reactions. And when you do, please leave me a voice message. I would love to hear your voice. I read your messages. I see your face. The icing on the cake would be to hear your voice, your lovely voice. Right, I'm going to read a couple of your um, comments, then we're going to go straight into my next reaction. Right, good morning, uh, Jin Stingley, uh, Jin Stringley, I hope I'm saying your name right, referring to the bandmate. It goes, fun you should ask about their clothes, see band, um, see band um, Miyako called Secret Miyako Lips from two years ago. It's on the bandmate channel video page. Thank you very much. I'll check that out. They said the, um, they wear even more traditional clothes, so I will definitely check that out. Um, Kubu, um, Kublu, I hope I'm saying your name right as well. Um, referring to um, Bogdan, Bogdan. Um, he's saying, by the way, what's wrong? Um, by the way, that's the wrong one. It's the 202 one where they invite him back, not the not the uh, 2018. He's talking about the um, the the, uh, the Ukraine. Um, um, the, the Ukraine voice, you know, everybody around the world has got the voice, the voice UK, the voice America, um, but this one's the Ukraine voice, and I know Tina Carroll and, and Bogdan was one of the judges in there, and they done this lovely heartfelt um, track where um, Tina Carroll was playing the piano, which I didn't even know that she can play the piano, and then um, Bogdan was playing the guitar as well. I have reacted to um, two of um, Bogdan's uh, um, music, and I will continue to follow him and react to more. So thank you very much for the people that have sent me um, the links regarding that and I will do more as well Harry Ivory good morning she goes yes she is singing to you I felt that bandmate referring to bandmate I felt bandmate was singing to me it was very very personal so thank you for confirming that for me it was it was a um, a message or a heartfelt song to all the bandmates followers because they had a cancellation um, so thank you very much Jonas S good morning how you doing mate um, Charles T veteran Good morning. How you are? Thank you very much for your um, for your messages, especially all in capitals, capitals for me to read. So, and it's particular because when I zoom in um, and make it larger, it is much more easier for me to read. Um, I did respond back to you. So, good morning, Charles. I hope you're well, mate. Um, I'm gonna do one more. Um, Natalia um, Nightcore. Good morning. You responded to um, uh, Elena Pash. She is absolutely amazing, beautiful, talented um, lady from Ukraine. I love her tr um, traditional values that she brings into um, her music. And I, once again, she told me that I have, she had looked at my um, reactions and she told me that I had a lovely smile. So I couldn't get better than that, could I? <laughs> Elena Pash, good morning. How you doing? Right. Let's go into my next reaction. Um, Kiano, I hope I'm saying that name. Or it's like Kiano. Or, you know, something like that. Um, she's representing Norway for the Eurovision Song Contest. So, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> 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 
Kainu Monument. And I hope I'm saying it. I know I'm not saying it right it, because I heard there and it doesn't sound nothing the way how like I said it. So, but I am doing my best. So, apologies if I'm I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. So, I'm just uh, apologies for that. That particular song was called Monument, and as you know, it's the Norway. Um, they have been awarded to represent Norway for the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. Right, I'm going to be. Um, I have screwed, I have done a number of reactions for particular artists who's going to be representing the um, Eurovision Song Contest. So I've already covered. Um, we see I've covered Ukraine. I've covered um, uh, Romania. Um, I have covered France. I've covered um, Israel. Um, I've covered Croatia um, and, and, and now Norway. Uh, oh, and, um, and oh, is there any more? No, I, that's what I've done so far. Um, now, I know on YouTube they I've selected their top seven. Now, I can, I'm, I'm going to scrutinise this and, and be very, very um, honest as possible. I'm not going to be fake on this one. Right, what I saw was this. On the beginning, um, let me know what, um, what her name, what this, um, the female um, of, of what her name is, please. When she sang, I thought, wow, we've got a winner here. Because I've looked at all the different kind of styles what is um, incorporated into the Eurovision Song Contest. There's ballad, there's um, a bit of a kind of a rock, there's a bit of a pop, and there's, um, uh, and there's, there's dance. And I feel that the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest is going to have, is going to incorporate all of those things all into one. Someone that's going to have sort of like a, a ballad voice, but with a kind of a, a up-tempo, catchy um, vibe beat. Um, and then 
um, you, you know, with, with this kind of um, and and a, um, and a lovely succulent, 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 tint, there you go, um, um, texture of, um, of vocals or a unique vocals. That's the one. Now, I feel I feel the person that's going to win the Eurovision Song Contest, their voice is going to be unique. Where it doesn't sound like that any ever anybody else, or so unique that um, it sounds a, a voice similar to someone that's like you know who was established thirty or forty years ago. And when I heard that this particular um, uh, um, artist singing, I thought we've got a winner straight away. The voice was unique. She gave me this kind of emotional um, tie with her, and it was just everything. And then. Um, I thought it was just her, and I thought, right, you know what? She's giving me everything. The music was bouncing, everything. She just gave me everything that I saw in the so far that I've reacted to you vision song contest. It was all rolled up into one and put in, and it's almost put into the um, you know this uh, into this particular artist. And then I saw the two gentlemen, and when he um, the first gentleman he starts singing with her, it was like for me it was like a dip. It was like a dip because he hasn't got the same kind of. Um, uh, excellent of vocals as the way as she has and and it was like he was being supportive and then when it came to the rap I was like oh my gosh why why I understand the whole um, you, you know the whole mixture and everything else but if it if it, you know if it worked it would work um, and I just feel that she was carrying both of them I believe that if she was on her own representing Norway, she will win. That's my heart. I have, like I said, I have listened to every, all, you know, I think the only person I'll be in competition with her would be Barbara and um, Abina with um, TikTok. But she stands out. Barbara gives me this emotional, passionate with a voice and, and with a facial expression. But this particular artist, she's giving everything that all the other artists is doing but it's all rolled up into one with this um, particular monument with this monument song and that said it, for me I, I was hearing her and then once I heard the, um, the other guy let me know what his name is um, he only kind of shined at the end of it when he came into it at the beginning I thought that was a dip but he did um, salvage something um, towards the end when he he, he realised that whoa I've got to be on point the same way as um, she is um, the, um, the rapper, um, it was nice that he, he, he was um, rapping in his traditional language. Um, so that brings that kind of traditional value to the, um, to the table. Um, and I just believe if they work on it and get it right, um, then they'll be up there. But if she was alone, she'll win. That's my honest opinion. Nothing taken away. I'm only, I'm only saying this because I've scrutinised um, um, these the, the top seven artists. And I would like her to be the additional... She's uh, For me... If she was singing on, she'll be easily the one of the top three, easily, easily, even be better than Eden from um, Israel, who was giving me this lovely thing. And um, but there was something, there was something missing within the um, Eden thing. There was something kind of missing with um, the tick, um, with, with, with TikTok with Albania. Um, I thought Barbara was going to take it straight away. Barbara from France. I thought she was going to take it away because she just gave this everything, this French sound, the French talking, the French singing. But the, the only thing that was lacking was any kind of um, dance emblems or any kind of up tempo. It was like engrossed. But she's given me everything that is needed. All the all the different kind of qualities that everybody's representing. It's like it's it's almost like it's all rolled up into the Norway um, with monument. It really is. I wish she was singing this song um, on the run and representing. That might be a horrible thing to say, but when it's a cutthroat like a Eurovision song, song contest and you want to win, you put the winner there. The other two was supporting her. That's why I thought it didn't feel like uh, um, uh, at any kind of part where it's a... Well, it's not at the, uh, at the ending part, it felt like a group that was... Uh, you know, it felt like a group. But at the beginning and the middle, it was this particular artist, the female artist. I don't know her name, so please let me know. Um, she just gave me everything. And, you know, take nothing away from Norway as a country because they've given us a, a number of fabulous, amazing artists. She's got a unique voice. She really has a unique voice. And... It just went right through me emotionally. I was connected with her emotionally. And like I said, I, I didn't, I was trying to connect with the other two guys. And I, I was doing my best to like uh, scrutinise and, and home in. And it was only, to, like I said, it was only towards the end that I had some kind of small inkling of connection. But my whole heart, my whole body, my whole emotion was tied up with her vocals. Um, 
So it's going to be a... I, 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 I hope you understand what I'm saying there. I'm not taking nothing away from this amazing band. I'm sure in the video, um, the original video, it sounds much more better. And as you know, you know, it's, there's a different quality when you're doing a video and when you're doing live. Live, you can be scrutinised. You are, you know, everybody's watching you on your live performance. They're looking at every kind of word. They're looking at every kind of thing. You can get away with so much things in a music video, but you can't get away with anything when you're doing things live. You really can't. So it's going to be, um, I'm looking forward to actually seeing um, this particular band in the Eurovision Song Contest when it starts. I really am. Um, I hope you do well. I really do. And I hope you're not taking it too um, personally when I'm analysing what you're saying. I'm not saying anything negative. Well, kind of I am, but in a positive way. I hope you really understand that. Before, anyway, I hope you really, really do well. I salute you. Brilliant. Yeah, Ooh.